Hey guys, it's Green Zero here bringing you the Game Replay's free-for-all tournament here. That's right, they hosted a free-for-all tournament and I'll be covering some of the games in these series here. So I'm just going to quickly explain how it works so you, know, you guys know what's going on. The first round is a pool round, so you can see there's four players in each pool. They play each other in a, in a free-for-all, so a four-player free-for-all. They play three maps and whoever comes first in a map gets three points. Whoever comes second gets two points. Whoever comes third gets one point and whoever comes last gets zero points. So they play three games and whoever gets the most points at the end or the top two players in the pool will qualify to the semi-finals. So two players from each pool will be going through. We're gonna start and jump into some of these games and we'll see how they go. But stay tuned to my channel, bring you some lots of free-for-alls. Hope you enjoy this. Stay tuned to my channel. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Green Zero back here again for some more free-for-all action. That's right, we're in pool number three now. So, pool three, which has the amazing maze, nice Roo, excess Dimitri, and Massa Suzumi. Uh, again, I'm not too sure who the last guy is, but the other three I've heard of, definitely for sure. So, we're going to see how this one went. Obviously, Cypher Bullet, I think, did cast it if you want to check out his stream. I'm pretty sure that's why he's in here. Uh, but this is a replay, so we're going to jump in. All Nod Factions, except for Mazazumi, who's decided to go as random. Pool number three, Armageddon Mountains is up because that's the map pool. You have to play Armageddon Mountains, Downtown Dust Bowl, and Six Shooter. I believe it's set. I didn't actually 100% check. I just noticed the trees are in like an arc. That looks pretty cool. It looks like a starfish. They're all like perfectly arc. And Predator, he just makes these nice small things, doesn't he? Let's go over here and see who we got. Because I didn't even check the colors. It's going to be Nice Roo. That's right. Nice Roo is over here. He's playing as the green nod on Armageddon Mountains. Bottom right hand side. If we jump up here. Playing as the GDI faction can be only be Mazazumi. I'm hoping saying his name right because uh, all the other guys picked Nod and he's clearly a GDI faction. Uh, he's going to be GDI Vanilla. He's GDI Vanilla. There we go. If we jump across here, playing as Signs, probably going to be, yep, that's Maze, aka Excess Illusion. Normally I call him Illusion, but just, just for the sake, I'm just going to call him Maze this time around. Just because it makes things easy, which means that the last player in this map... The one and only Dimitri, that's right. So Dimit Nub here. He's probably not going to like that too much, but again, he's in this uh, this one here. Pretty much, I think he's the only Aussie playing. Uh, and uh, what's happening over here? Looks like uh, looks like Mazazumi took the danger spike as well. He's going to be able to get it. Uh, looks like he even cut off the scouts here from Mace. He could get another spike if he wanted to. I mean. Uh, when you think about it, yeah, there are bunkers here, which makes it very easy to defend these spikes, but very few people actually going for that particular spike anyway. And uh, interesting that he built a bunker and he garrisoned the, that as well. Maybe he's worried about, I don't know why he did that. There's really no tactical advantage at the moment to do that, uh, but he decided to do it because he can. And I think, I'm as a zoom, I think he's probably the mid player here. Illusion is obviously the clear pro in this this one here. He's very, very powerful. And then I have to say that Dimitri and Nice Roo would be pretty evenly balanced. No one is rushing. One ref here for uh, Nice Roo, who actually just drops the second ref as we speak. A few battle markers. The buggies are out in force, and who can blame them? It's free for all. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know where it's coming from. You have to see what's going on. And there are buggies all over the place. Even spare Ravman squads here from Mazazumi, who actually has a tier 2. He's going for AP ammo, so again, he's got blue tib. You know, nubs with blue tib, they can pretty much do anything. And the buggies are driving around, trying to see what's going on. Uh, it looks like Nice is going to pull that back to base, just because it's almost destroyed and probably doesn't want to lose that early scout. Very valuable. And we have a flame unit here, which means there's probably a, uh, a flame tank somewhere on the map. Uh, there's a flame tank here by Dimitri, so he's going to flame... Wow, he's fast teched. He is fast teched, and he is sending a flame tank right to his opponent here. I'm not sure what uh, what Excess Illusion has. He's, he obviously had a flame unit. I'm not sure if it was to clear the garrisons or what. But uh, I don't think there's any flame tanks on the map just because I cannot see them. Let's go to... Oh, he's got no power. My god, just figures, isn't it? Actually, you no, know, his MCV's packed up. No, he has no flame units anywhere. And uh, Dimitri... Oh my god, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Dimitri is in his base, and he's going to get the tier 2. No Dozer Blades. There's nothing much to stop this. He's going to go for a refinery. I probably would have gone for the War Factory, but uh, he's not going to... Yeah, it does have a... Few, maybe the Power Plant, I guess, would have been the only thing he could really destroy. But he knocked out Dozer Blades, and it uh, looks like um, Illusion was trying to cross the bridge, and he's been stopped. Maybe to deploy here and grab all the Tib in the middle. I don't know, like down these ro slopes or whatever. Very interesting uh, decision there. But he's been forced back. Dimitri, meanwhile, does have a chem plant. Maybe he was trying to destroy it because he's going to one-click him. I'm not quite sure, but he went fast one-click. So now there's tanks heading to his base. He's got nothing to stop this. He has nothing to stop. He's getting like an avatar. An avatar by the war factory. The scorpion tanks probably won't be able to remove it. We have a Tib Vein come off. 
And that was an interesting place for a Tim Vane. I think it's going to miss most of these tanks. And it does. It, it barely hits. It doesn't even destroy any tanks. There's an Avatar and an Obelisk. Should be plenty to defend this out. What's happening over here? Maze just flaming that down. Battle Mark is raging over here. It's just scouts. We'll keep it on here. He does retreat with his tanks. That Tim Vane was four grand, which did nothing. And now Dimitri only has a few harvesters. He's camping up here. He's going to have to expand. He does destroy some tanks. So looks like a nice route took a swing in him as well. Maybe even get a beam cannon out just to double beam this one avatar. He's got a second avatar out now. And of course, those will be powerful armored units. Maze is like, you know, to hell with this. I'm going to go attack Mazazumi, who's got a mammoth tank here. He's got two mammoth tanks, three mammoth tanks. And Maze is like, hang on a second. I think we might just leave, yes, and uh, most of the tanks actually get destroyed. I believe some raider buggies did get away there, so this game, pretty crazy. Maze just uh, leeching that. Look at this nice path. The, the pathing path just seems to be so well up that slope, doesn't it? I don't know, Predator's done a great job with this map, uh, even though it's not very popular just because it's choky as all hell. It is literally the chokiest of the chokes. But uh, again, for free-for-all, and again, to play these maps every now and then is definitely interesting. It just throws a spanner in the works. Mazazumi just putting his ref up there and then realizing, no, I've got to move down there to do that. He's going for Firehawks. He's probably going for Railguns. Maybe he's a Tiberium Wars player. That's why he's doing this. But again, Mammoth Tank's probably not going to be too good on this map just because of the chokes. Uh, artillery would be a better option. Nice 3 actually has a lot of attack bikes out. Trying to save his spike. I don't think... Oh, he just manages to pop this bunker, but the flame units are still there and they will continue to flame that down. And no, he gets them. He gets them. Wow, clutch save. Clutch save there, saves this spike. This spike is still not, has not been captured. And Nystru is going to roll into Dimitri's base here. Where the avatars, they're down here. They need to be up here. There's one obelisk, and that's enough to scare him away. So he's like, okay, one obelisk, that's enough. I, I might just back off here. Doesn't want to lose his bikes. Uh, almost destroying that bunker. He does actually pop the bunker. So that's actually nice. Removing those scouts. They will stick around until they're dead, but... Uh, you never know. Uh, we have, uh, obviously, Nystra here. Not expect And again, why are the players... All the players are doing this. They're putting it at the top of the slope. I mean, it's not too far to go, I guess. But seriously, you could probably just move your MCV just to here. Like, literally, it's just from here to here. And you could place stuff down there. You don't actually need to move all the way down, which is what Mazazumi has done over here. Again, I guess he's a little bit vulnerable to one-clicks if he doesn't move them down here. When's his railguns done? Almost has railguns. Has firehawks. Has a little bit of money problems right now. A lot of mammoth tanks sitting around here. Battle mark is over there. Avatars here by Maze. And Maze has been awfully quiet. Nicery now moving through with these bikes down to the bottom area here where there's a mixture of blue and green tibs. So this game, yeah, both. I mean, all the players seem to burn their blue tibs so fast that they've got nothing left for the expansion. Maze does have a redeemer, though. And it looks like Nicery has just decided... He's totally random, isn't he? He just attacks whoever he can. Uh, meanwhile, we've got some units running into his base. Nothing serious. It's actually Spectre. Two Spectre artillery there. I'm not sure why they're, what they're doing so far out of uh, out of their comfort zone. But yeah, these bikes come in. They decide, hey, on a second. Nope, don't think so. Let's get out of there. Rage Gen goes off. He won't actually be able to destroy a harvester. He sticks around, but he doesn't obviously realize that it's there. And he's driving back to his base. He's rallied them back to his base without realizing they're there. Uh, meanwhile, these two Spectre artillery will be retreating down this path here. You can hardly even see this path against the side of the map, can you? And uh, what's happening up there? A few, uh, few power plants getting damaged. I'm not sure what that was. It might have been a flame tank that got popped or something like that. Not 100% sure. But uh, we have attack bikes down here. Nice needs to defend out both his avatars. And they're deciding, no, they're not going to go into this area here. Because if there's infantry here, they could get destroyed. And then they'll be handing over husks to towards Nice Who really doesn't have a lot at all, does he? And now there is a redeemer and two avatars coming to Dimitri's base. He's got Spectre Artillery. But his tech center is under attack. He should be able to shield it out with... Uh, with silos, and he's bringing the Spectre Artillery back, maybe waiting for... Oh, he's got five of them, so if he needs to shield it now because he's going to lose it, and he puts down an Obelisk. He's going to get an Artillery fire Barrage off, which is going to do a nice amount of damage. He's targeting the Redeemer first. He should really be targeting the Avatars because if he kills those, the damage multiplier of these units goes down, and he cloaks them, and he turns straight around. He's like, hey, bud, I got cloaked units. going to turn them straight around. Dimitri could defeat this. He's got five Spectres and two of his own Avatars, his Redeemer is not quite on the way, unless it's already out, and I can't see it. Not 100% sure, but his base is under attack. His tech center is down. The Obelisk should be able to destroy... Oh, he gets one more shot, but he's going to go down now. And Dimitri, in a little bit of trouble, gets an artillery strike off. Again, if he can get rid of both of the Avatars, and he's almost got that one. If he gets rid of both the Avatars, he can probably take the uh, the Redeemer by itself. Rage Gen goes off, but it's not enough. It's not in range to do any damage here. The Spectre Artillery will fire. Uh, he can all drop in his own power plant. Not what he wants to see, but uh, Illusions are starting to just, just get out of there. Uh, Orchestrate comes in to hit his main field. He's still got he's got Stealth Tanks, and he's got Bites, and he's got Scorpions. A real mixture of force here, just left over from the early game, which is still alive. Uh, meanwhile, he's going to be backing off here. 
He's going to be getting out of there. He's going to be going back down to this base here. Very well dug in. All of his tech is down here. And it's very easy to defend. Meanwhile, Dimitri is doing the same over here. He has no tech to speak of. Oh, he can't actually build a Redeemer because he lost his tech center. That's right. So that is not going to happen. Uh, most of his base here has been hollowed out. Probably could sell that uh, that uh, engineering facility. Probably not too important. Firehawks are here from Mazazumi, And he will be bombing. He decides to go for the refinery. Will not lose any Firehawks. Surprisingly, he does have Stratified. He uses it now. What's happening over here? Stealth Tank running into this base. Isn't on whole ground stance. So it actually reveals itself. And oh my god, the Marv just ruffles Thompson. He's got triple rail in there. Probably going quad rail. He's got zone heads. He's got... Oh, he's all over the place, isn't he, with his units? Again, this is another example, like we saw in pool number two, of uh, a pretty nub play. I'm not, not really to pay him out, but, you know, we're just, just calling it how it is. Uh, not getting attacked and be able to build up these forces. He's even got blue tibia. He could be very threatening with what he's got, depending on the micro. There are still five spectre artillery here, but he's now being uh, counter artillery, but it's not going to matter. Look at that. Wow, yeah, see you later. And uh, he's got repairs here as well, so he's just going to be repairing up straight away. These five spectre artillery have the ability to shoot in this space, but now Nicery has a cloaked redeemer. He's got a cloaked redeemer, and there's nothing here to reveal it, and I think he must realize it's there. And yeah, he sells off the power plant, maybe trying to use the uh, the militants. Did he rage gen? He must have rage gen or something then. Oh, look at that. He did rage gen, and he uses the tib vein as well. Oh my god, see you later, Spectre Artillery. All the Spectre Artillery go down to the Avatars, are almost dead. Harvesters will die. Nice Rue kills this, and Dimitri's like, yep, that's it. GG, Dimitri is out of the game. Zero points for Dimitri. So Maze will be looking forward to that because now he has no opponent to his south. He does have to deal with the GDI player who is looking pretty strong. There's actually something down there. What is it? It's a Marv. Oh my god. Yeah, that's kind of important. So yeah, I was going to say there's something. There's actually some Mammoth tanks there as well. Two Mammoth tanks and a Marv. And all this power will go down. That will slow Maze down quite a bit. And they're obviously on aggressive stance because they're coming in now. And that should be low power. Yeah, he's, he's just lost all of his power down there. The Cloaking Field is on some of these Avatars and the Redeemer, of course, which is going to be nice. Uh, we have Venoms responding, but uh, they're not going to really do anything. Neither is any of these ground forces. They're all going to die immediately to this force. They can't hope to do anything against that. Meanwhile, Stealth Tank's fighting bikes, so Maze is actually trying to fight nice through this. Some Avatars under the bridge, just two of them. We have Battle Markers over here. And we've got these uh, these avatars, sorry, these uh, units here. And now there's actually a lot of avatars. There's actually five avatars here. I didn't see that. The Marv might just want to reverse move here because he's taking a lot of damage from these avatars. Doesn't actually finish that one off. Might want to do so. Yeah, he does drop it now. The Scorpion tanks are just getting completely dominated by this Marv. It's literally one shot. And these, these uh, Scorpion tanks are going down. So he's doing a lot of damage here. He is doing a lot of damage. And he does take out these units now. Whoa, so he does manage to take out that Marv, so Mizumi is looking pretty badly damaged right now, but of course he's still got a lot of his base, he's still got these zone heads as well, he's got five of them, and Maze, he does have Venoms, he does have Venoms, but of course he's, there's Firehawks here as well, they do have Stratifier, they're going to back off, uh, meanwhile Harvesters are getting shot up from Mazazumi, here come the zone heads, and oh my god, they destroy all the bikes straight away, oh no, and there's nothing to stop them from killing these Avatars, and they will just come in. The Venoms are coming here now. The Venoms are responding. And these guys are getting shot up. He needs Firehawks with missile support. He's getting chased down. He stops. Oh my god, he stopped. He stopped. And he just lost two more, three more Hammerheads. The Firehawks are coming here now. And all oh, the Venoms did bulk up then. So the Firehawks got some good shots. They destroyed them all. But they needed to be in position a little bit better. That positioning was not too good. He lost all but one of his own heads. Not necessary. Uh, meanwhile, something is destroying this refinery. Do we have uh, Vertigo Bombers? What do we have? I'm not quite sure what we have. Something was taking a swing at that. Maybe there's some Spectre Artillery. There's some Spectre Artillery that if they range that, that is, no, that's way too far, yeah, even for Spectres. Spectres are pretty crazy, but they're not going to range that. So maybe he got Tiv Veined or something like that, because the War Factory is damaged as well. He's got an MCV here as well, so he's got two MCV. Meanwhile, he's fighting uh, APCs. He's using APCs to fight uh, these uh, Avatars, which is not too good. So this game here, a bit crazy, a bit all over the place. We have a Beacon over here as well. I'm not sure what that beacon is going to be. I think it's going to be a, it's going to be an orchestra strike. Can he get that avatar? He does. He gets the avatar. That's nice. That's going to lower the firepower over here. But this base is as good as dead. This one last zone head comes in, but there's venoms here, and they will be looking to take it down. There's a stealth tank there as well, and he manages to take it down. Avatars actually ranking up here, 
and this MCV will be going down. The fireworks come in, they do thin out almost all of the Venoms. One Venom remains. There's a Stealth Tank here. Will he get a kill on that Firehawk? He does shoot it down. There it goes, hits the deck. The Stealth Tank is chasing them back to the base as well. And Mazazumi really has nothing much. He's not really doing much at all, is he? And again, it's one of those games where as the game goes on, uh, players like this uh, can't control all their units. And he will just destroy, clean up all of those Firehawks on the deck. And I think Mazazumi is going to be bowing out of this game here now. He is losing the last of his structures. He has a Mammoth Tank here. He's actually being attacked by Nysru, who has a Veteran Redeemer. So it's going to be Nysru versus Maze here. And Mazazumi will be selling up. He throws in the tower, doesn't realize he has an MCV, of course. He deploys it, and he sells it, and he is out of the game. Mazazumi will get one point for his efforts there. So he'll get one point, but Maze and Nysru now fighting it out for the top three points. Uh, the loser, or the second place runner-up, will get two points guaranteed. Uh... Nice Rue has a scattered base. He actually managed to leech everything down there. And he does have a base over here, I believe. Yeah, he does. He must have outpost expanded or maybe... No, he's got an MCV and he's crawling his way over to this blue field. That's nice. That's nice effort because uh, blue tip obviously very uh, very valuable. There's a lot of blue tip actually right there for him. And Maze has not managed to clean this field up just yet. Uh, maybe he got hit with a one click or something because there's only one refinery here. And he's, uh, he's, not, uh, he's not cranking as much tib as you thought he would be. Uh, meanwhile, his army is probably looking to get into position to attack Nice Rue. There's an Avatar Husk on the bridge, which could be very valuable. There's probably another one down here. Yeah, there's another one down there, but they can't really see. It's very difficult to see. Nice Rue has a Veteran Redeemer, though. He's got a Veteran Redeemer. He's got Venoms. They do have the Laser Capacitor upgrade, so he's already got much more than what uh, than what uh, 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 Maze does at the moment. He's not trying to rebuild his Venom Force. He's trying to rebuild it. Stealth Tank's trying to take out the MCV, but no, there's an Obelisk there. He's like, no, that's not going to happen. And now Nice Rue is actually getting Tiberium here. And he's looking good. He's getting Blue Tip. He's going to have a lot of money, and money equals units. Money equals an army. And these Venoms, I believe, were chasing these guys, but they have given up the chase. They're flying around now, just trying to see what's going on. Maze is going back to his main Blue Tip field. What's happening over here? The Redeemer somehow is on the other side of that. Veteran Redeemer. And uh, Nice Rue doesn't have really anything in position there to do much about that. Venom's now Venom v Venom. He does take out the... Uh, oh, he's got a Heroic Venom. He's got a Heroic Venom. Oh my god, look at the destruction. They kill each other so quickly. But I think Nice Rue is actually going to win this. He kills the Heroic Venom. He's got too many. He's got too many. He gets out of there because he doesn't want to fight in that Tib Core. No Tib Core. No, thank you very much. The Stealth Tanks do take out the MCV. They get a nice angle on it. They take it out. Ver Ver Venom's Vertigo Bomber's on the deck now. He's going to get Vertigo's up and running. Oh, look at all the avatars. Look at all the avatars he's got here. He should just sell that power plant. It's in the way. Venom's to reveal the stealth, but he's got so many avatars here. Oh, my God. Nice, Rue. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, my God. Move. Run. Run. Split them up. Oh, my God. He shouldn't have lost really any then. He's going to lose two, but he's going to be able to kill this. He's got some dual beams in there. I'm pretty sure some of those are dual beamed as well, but he will be killing this uh, redeem. He gets a heroic Venom. Nice work there. Hero Venom. So that's going to be pretty good for, uh, for Nice, Rue there. And uh, again, he needs to recover these husks. He's got some dual... I'm pretty sure he's got some dual beam rocking on some of these guys because I thought I saw some of them firing double. Maybe not. I can't 100% sure. You can see it when they're even in husk mode. But I'll have to wait and see if he recovers those husks. He should be doing so. And we have Vertigo Bombers trying to bomb stealth tanks. Venoms are there. They will be shooting at them a little bit. Uh, there are heroic Venoms there. I'm not sure what he's going to be doing with that one stealth tank. It is over here now. It's just driving around. Maze trying to cause problems. The, the Venoms will fly across inadvertently, I think, kill this. He does get the Heroic Venom. That's nice, but the Stealth Tank can no longer stealth because it's too badly damaged. Once it's too heavily damaged, it cannot stealth. Vertigo Bomb is flying across here now. They need somewhere to land. Meanwhile, there's Battle Markers up here. Maze does have a few Avatars moving into this base. There's a few Obelisk here, and they should be able to help uh, destroy those guys there. That one Stealth Tank is still alive. It is moving over here. The Venoms will respond. Again, pretty terrible against Stealth Tanks, but he had such little health left, he was able to destroy it. And meanwhile, Nice Rue here, he's actually losing these Vertigo Bombers. Oh my god, he needs to put down... He's got. He's actually got a, he's got a full deck and he's got spares. Oh my god. I don't think he realizes he's losing those guys there. He needs another air tower and he needs it now. He, he's calling them over to the airfield so they get repairs. But I think it's a little bit too late. He's not really doing too much about these ven Venoms and the, the Vertigos. They should oh, just get them so mixed up. And they're expensive units. They are expensive units. For some reason, that one is not burning up the last of its health. Yeah, there we go. If they don't have any ammo and they don't have an air pad, they will die. Uh, meanwhile, he's actually... Did he just Q-move everything? Because that's what it looks like. Battle markers over here. Not too much happening. Uh, he is moving his army across. He does have Vertigo Bombers for a big strike. Oh, Maze. That is in a dangerous position right there. Battle markers over there. Tib Vane comes down, destroys all of his power plants. He actually is killing uh, these avatars with the Venoms. And these Vertigo Bombers now flying around. 
Uh, May's trying to run to the north here to this base where there's some tip. The Vertigo Bombers are now moving in, trying to search for targets. And Maze did rebuild his Redeemer. Uh, meanwhile, he's got some stealth tanks here. What's he going to bomb? He's going to go for the tech center. Oh my god, can he get it? He's got enough bombs, he gets it. But that stealth tank, oh my god, two, ver two Vertigos go down. Rage Gen goes off, and uh, he will be moving. Didn't even see the animation for the Rage Gen. No, he's actually going to go for the crush. He's going to just go in and crush these avatars. Doesn't even care. One clicks down the last ref. Maze is hurting. Maze is hurting badly here. And he will be able to destroy, he could probably destroy that War Factory if he wants to. Yeah, he's going to try to destroy it. Gets the Husk as well. No stealth detection here for Maze. Rage Gen goes off, so he can't control his Redeemer for the time being, but he should be okay. Meanwhile, Venom's getting torn up by bikes. He does have Tib Core. Maze is on his last legs now. He does have an expansion over here, but there's no refinery down just yet. He needs to get a refinery down there. Nice stream, meanwhile. Meanwhile has his, uh, I said meanwhile twice, has his Avatar Force here. But Maze is falling apart. He's falling apart. Venom's trying to take out attack bikes. That's not going to work. It's not going to work. They're getting shot to pieces, torn to shreds. That stealth tank does get shot down or shot up by the Redeemer, which is a veteran now. And again, he has no tier 3. He has no tier 3. Puts a minefield down, misses those units there. That minefield is a little bit out of the way. And uh, this uh, Redeemer, if he gets the operations, well, if he gets a heroic Redeemer, he is going to be cheering right now. And he should be able to finish off the tier 2. Now Maze is down to tier 1. He's only, of course, building tier 1 units at the moment. The avatars are coming to lend a hand. And this Redeemer now scaring off Mazes, who does not have any garrisons at all. What is Nice Rue doing in the meantime? Not really expanding. He has this one unit down here. He's got Harvesters going to the Blue Tiberian Field there, so he's pretty much leeching. Everything of it that he's doing is leeching. Maze does have an expansion there. Vertigo Bombers, something's getting destroyed. He's trying to go into infantry. It's all he's got left. But the Venoms are responding. They will be killing these infantry forces before they can get to critical mass. Uh, Vertigo Bombers flying over the top now. And they're going to start to target, I think... No, they're actually on it. They don't have whole ground stance, so Nice Rue not really controlling those too well. But I don't think it's going to matter. There's an army of avatars moving up here. Rage Gen goes off. Is it going to be enough? Redeemer goes down. Maze has nothing to hold this base here. Even artillery units are moving in now across the bridge. And this thing is getting pretty fanatic there. And Maze throws it in. Maze does throw it in there. He must have uploaded the replay. That's why it did that. Uh, because the replay ends there for him. But Nice Rue will win that game. He'll take three points. Maze takes two points. Uh, Mazazumi will take one point and Dimitri will take zero points. That was game number one of pool number three. You guys can think of that as you will. I'm not going to dwell too much on the statistics. Nice for you to get the most amount of money. But uh, we're going to jump into game number two. Stay tuned. That's coming up right now. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Green Zero back here with game number two of pool three for the free for all tournament. We're jumping back in now. Uh, this time we have Maze selecting GDI as his faction and Nice Rue switched to Skrin. Uh, Mazazumi and Dimitri both decided to select random in this matchup. And it's interesting because the map pool obviously wasn't set. There was obviously an actual map pool because we are on Battle for Middle Egypt here. And you guys are like, Battle for Middle Egypt, what is this? This is a, this is a map which I believe was here since Tiberium Wars as well. And, uh, and it is pretty crazy. It's it's very interesting. It's very big, and the, the, the middle is pretty much a death pit. Surprise, these guys picked the map. But we're going to jump, and we'll do a quick whip around. So there's a subway hub in the middle, which will grant you access to the subway, which appears to be available after a certain amount of time. But uh, you've got expansion tip fields, very heavily defended from the backside with the mountain ranges. As you can see, we're in the middle of the map. Just follow it on the, the radar here. So there's four entries to this area, pretty much mirrored all the way around. And there's a lot, a lot of buildings in the middle here. Some of them are badly damaged, some of them are not damaged too much at all. But if we head out to the outer skirts now, there's a mutant hobble there, there's uh, subway entrances. We have over here, it's going to be playing as the red, it's going to be Dimitri playing as a nod faction by the looks of things. Either mock or nod, depending on what he draws. If we go up here, there's some more, just dead space really, there's, there's not even any, anything to capture up here, it's just a way through. And if we go up here, we can see it's going to be, I believe, it's going to be Mazazumi has a scrim faction. Mazazumi is a screen. Nice Rue has a GDI faction. Uh, he does. No, that's Maze. Oh my god, it's Maze. And you can see the tip field here is pretty pretty easy to defend. Again, he's back. He's building a wall here as well. Maze is in the top right, and which can only mean one thing. It can mean that the last player is going to be Nice Rue. He is vanilla screen, so vanilla screen in the bottom right. Maze is GDI in the top left, top right. Uh, Dimitri CNC is going to be Black Hand in the bottom left. And that leaves uh, our screen player up here, Mazazumi. He's going to be screen vanilla. So screen vanilla up here for Mazazumi. So uh, very interesting map. Uh, pretty much, again, there's enough Tiberium here to make something happen. But every player is going to be coming in through their own entrance. And it's going to be like, well, which field do I take? A lot of garrisons. Black Hand will probably be loving this with all the infantry. Doesn't favor vehicle gameplay in the middle. But the outskirts of the map favors vehicles like crazy because there's all these paths. Again, mainly dead space. 
a lot of flame tanks, stealth tanks, things like that. Air is going to get through there. Uh, orcas will be really good just because they'll be able to strike from the backside of these expansions in there. And there's not a lot of building room down here either. It's mainly just here. You can build and maybe a little bit in here. Not a lot of retail room or not a lot of an area for expansion. Maze is going for it though. He didn't even scout. He just went straight for his 5 and 2 and now he's expanding. Uh, meanwhile, Nice Fruit is just going to, you know, he's going to go for tier 2 and he's going to expand. So he's going to go tier 2 expansion. So he's screen vanilla, maybe for some dev tanks. That would be nice. If he gets a war factory at the center, he'll be pretty good because he's got buzzer hives, which insta clear buildings. So that's going to be good as well. Uh, now we have uh, Dimitri moving to the middle. Maybe it's not going to be as good for Black Hand as I thought it was going to be. It's going to be good for Scrim with Devourer tanks and Buzzer Hives. The Buzzer Hives to keep the garrisons clear because this is a pretty big city you've got here. There's a lot of structures here and it's going to be very chaotic. Uh, very big street fight here in the metropolis area. It's probably the most densely packed metro uh, map I've seen in, in quite some time. Uh, even more so than Small Town USA. Uh, but uh, yeah, these guys are now starting to make their way down here. Dimitri has a scout. It looks like there's a few pitbulls out here from Maze trying to chase off that uh, that buggy, but uh, they won't be able to catch it. He's going to lead him to the wrong base as well. He's going to be leading him up to Mazazumi's base, uh, who, by the way, has got tier 2. Uh, he's probably going... Is he going for tier 3 mecha? No, he's going for air. So he's going for air. These guys look like the pitbulls gave up the chase. Meanwhile, uh, Dimitri did go for a second war factory. Probably a good idea. Maze takes a few shots at it, but these cabals in the building doesn't really want to stick around here. Again, he's going to get his own units up here. Meanwhile, what's uh, Nicery doing? He did actually go for a refinery first, and Maze could make him pay for that. There is a Seeker tank here, which you'll easily strike down. And he does, yeah, look at that. Clears that uh, that structure out straight away. A lot of harvesters here for him to shoot at. Wow, he has really gone heavy eco. And Maze is like, no, maybe not. Again, with the Lightning Spike and the Seeker tanks, and now a War Factory, he probably wouldn't get a harvester. Probably not going to happen. Storm Riders coming out. The, the buggy will see it. It's only one gravity stabilizer storm runner, so Mazazumi again, uh, probably not making the decisions he needs to make. Probably going to end up uh, getting knocked out pretty quickly in this game, I think. Uh, that's my prediction anyway, but it uh, looks like Maze is expanding to this field here. He's got expansion down, handful of units are out. What's Dimitri doing? He's going for bike buggy, I believe, and he's going to move the MCV again, so he is preparing to move the MCV. Obviously worried about storm riders hitting his main. He could go for an operation center, put down a SAM turret, he'll be fine. Again, it's only one uh, Gravity Stable Storm Riser, and he doesn't know that Maze is actually destroying these, so he's actually shooting some of these down now. And Mazazumi, not making too much of a move, has six Harvesters. Nice Rue has a double ref down here, and he's taking from two different fields as well, and there's Dev Tanks. This is a bit worrying. Nice Rue is looking really powerful, and again, he's on three points. So uh, for him to win again, it basically puts him in an almost unlosable position uh, to, to quali for qualification. He pretty much, you know, He's probably going to qualify you know, if he wins this game here. Uh, wow, Dimitri CNC is making a move for Mazazumi's base with mass bikes and mass, well not mass scorps, but scorps and bikes. And uh, I'm not sure what he looks to gain because there's not actually a lot of Tiberium here. Yeah, he'll kill this opponent, but he's not going to do too much else. Units over there, nothing serious. The bikes are moving around. They will be looking to destroy all of those Storm Riders and they will be getting them all as well. And Mazazumi now... It's pretty much going to be knocked out of this game. But Dimitri, he needs to get in and destroy Harvesters. So there's still Tiberium here to Harvest. Because really, I mean, does he, 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 his whole goal here would be to get the, the Tiberium here. and Because he doesn't have any Tiberium in the middle. Uh, he doesn't have any Tiberium. He's almost out of Tiberium. He is going to get the Technology Assembler. And he's going to get the War Factory as well. Uh, which means uh, Mazazumi is going to be really limited on his options. And now he's switching targets. Uh, I think he's trying to get that, uh, that tripod out of the way really quickly. But that tripod is doing a lot of damage to his force. And again, he hasn't finished off the tech center just yet. He should be able to knock it down. He does knock it down. He needs to put some shredder turrets down now because the disintegrator squads are going to come out. He needs to hurry up and finish that off because another tripod's going to come out. Oh my god, what are you doing, buddy? Kill that. Yes, he's going to kill it. Oh, he cancels it. He cancels it. That's nice. That is nice. He's even going to try to grab the husk if he can. He's going to grab the husk if he can. Meanwhile, battle markers over here. It's tripods and devourer tanks versus juggernauts. There's a marv out. Oh my god, things heating up in the middle of the battle for Middle Egypt. And I'm talking really, really fast. Oh, that sonic shot. That sonic shot. These juggernauts don't want to be out there. They're just having trouble getting back behind. And that's going to cost Maze. He just lost two juggernauts. And the tripods, are they going to try to make a move for the marv? No, the sonic emitters there. Rear armor. Oh my god, that hurts. That hurts. Might try to take that structure, which is garrisonable. Uh, meanwhile, Mazazumi has been defeated. Mazazumi has been defeated. He is out, so Dimitri CNC does secure the top area. 
almost no Tiberium, so I'm not sure if that was really worth it at all, because now he needs Tib. Meanwhile, Maze is cleaning, cleaning up Nice Rue. Nice Rue does have some dev tanks. He's got some tripods over here. He desperately needs some repairs. Mammoth tanks coming in now. Rocket squads on the ground, and Maze is taking him on. He doesn't even have any garrisons, so he's got one garrison inside this Marv. He needs to try, if he can destroy the Marv, maybe he'll be okay, but he's recovering the husks, and that's just more problems here for Nice Rue. He's trying to run forward to EMP the Mammoth Tank. The Mammoth Tank is almost dead. These dev tanks probably could finish off. Shockwave Artillery comes down. Oh my god, that is not good. That is not good for Nice Rue. Nice Rue is in all sorts of trouble. He's getting picked to pieces now. He doesn't have what he needs. He, I mean, he had a really good force, but now he's just being uh, pulled apart. He's being pulled apart. He did not win that engagement. It could have gone either way. But unfortunately, Maze now is just powering his way across here. There is a battle marker over here. It looks like Dimitri CNC is hitting the backside of his base. The whole main is sold from uh, from Illusion. He sells the whole main, and he's going to come in. And Dimitri CNC, who is basically all in at this point in time, is he going to go for the tech center? I'd just go for the power plants and the space command up link, because really, that's going to slow Maze down. Uh, ast an astronomical amount, and he does sell off the space command line. Now there's a full zone trooper squad here. You want to focus that down, and surprisingly, the bikes will be able to focus it down just because they do so much damage. And now he's going to back off here. Nice route is falling back. He does have one devastator warship. Shields is done, but it's a little bit too late. Is flattening most of this force here, but I think he's going to lose his drone platform. Doesn't take out the tech center. Dimitri decides to just ba back off with his bikes. He has a uh, tripod here, but again, there's just no Tiberium here. That that move on Mazazumi was good. It killed Mazazumi, but now he has no backup plan. He's got no refinery. He's got no Tiberium. He's in a lot of trouble. Nice Rue is almost effectively defeated here. He has some units left, and he's going for Storm Riders. But I mean, uh, oh, he's actually got a veteran uh, veteran Devastator warship, and he he might actually be able to stop uh, this force here. I mean, if he's if he's good enough, the Marv is pretty badly damaged at about 40%. So I have to see how that goes. But Dimitri CNC is making a move now. He's got a lot of attack bikes, no tip core. He could destroy all these harvesters, which are completely undefended. Maze is now camping his tech center up there. Uh, this this field is fine, but uh, again, this field is in a lot of trouble. Uh, interesting ref placement there. But where are the bikes? The bikes are moving up and around, which is not where they really want to go because there's infantry there. They could have gone in here. Dimitri CNC doesn't realize that this whole area is completely undefended. No, he just, he turns around. He turns around, he makes the move. He might actually get an expansion down here. He may actually very well get an expansion down. There's pit bulls here, but there's cabals. There are cabals, and now he's losing harvesters. A sonic emitter will come down. There's no power for it. Another harvester will probably get destroyed. No, he decides to back off. He decides to fall back. The pit bulls get shredded by the infantry. And these buildings, though, if he takes these buildings, Maze has to turn his attention to that area now. He's pulling everything over to Dimitri CNC. He does not want to let him get established down here. He cannot let him get established. Meanwhile, Dimitri CNC is under attack by a few storm riders. It's really all nice for you can do right now. But these attack bikes don't really belong in the city. These attack bikes are in the city, and they're getting pretty shredded. He's trying to get those uh, those juggernauts. He, he will destroy one. There is a Marv here. Pretty badly damaged, though. Will he get the other one? He has not quite finished that other juggernaut yet, which could be a problem. It could be a problem. Infantry here, surprisingly, they're not taking the garrisonable structures, and the Pipples do have mortar, which is going to do a little bit of damage against them. But Dimitri CNC, I'm not sure why he's not taking these structures. He has flame. He has flame. And he could be taking those structures there. And I'm starting to lose my voice again. This game is so intense. Who would have thought that a game on this level would be pretty crazy? And he is going to start shooting these guys up now. And uh, there's one husk there. And again, he's finally realized that he can actually take these garrisons. He should take really pretty much all of them because he can flame out any, any units that are in these other structures. And he's even in flame range here. He doesn't even really need to do too much. He's starting to destroy these units which are on the ground here now. This is pretty much all that's happening down here for the time being. And he will be launching rockets across there. We need to really spin this around to see what's happening. So that's what's happening there. And the, the shadowing is really weird because the sun comes in from the other angle there. So the game looks a little bit different from this angle here. So uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, Dimitri CNC trying to do some damage here. He will clear out these structures. There's actual black hand down there now. And he does have a refinery up. If he can get another one up, he'll be okay. The Storm Riders from Nystria are actually attacking Dimitri CNC. So maybe... I don't think that's a good idea because Dimitri doesn't have as much points. He doesn't have any points yet in this series, so nice route would be beneficial for him to kill Maze, because Maze has, oh, is the biggest threat to him right now, because Maze has two points, Dimitri has no points, and uh, if Dimitri CNC comes in second, he'll be at two points, but uh, I mean, if, if uh, Illusion gets, uh, or sorry, Maze gets two points, he'll be at four points, so uh, actually no, Maze is probably going to win this one here at the moment, if I had to make a call, I'd probably say that Maze is probably in a better position here, nice route obviously can't see the whole map, see what's going on, there's actually a lot of Tiberium up here, someone could try to go for that, Dimitri CNC trying to get down another ref, I believe, 
and uh, Mays is falling back for the time being. Again, with that field getting camped out, he doesn't have as much money as he thought he did. He's only got one ref down here. Nice route trying to get in here. And look at this. He's going to Marvest this area. He's got one rail, one rocket, and two engineer there. So he's going to try to Marvest this field to get himself some quick cash, which is a good idea. Meanwhile, there's Juggernaut's coming down. These buildings are starting to get destroyed. Harvesters are getting destroyed. These buildings are collapsing. They're hitting the deck now. And it's going to clear out this area now. There's going to be a lot less, uh, a lot less, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, obstacles now. All these buildings here, triple rocket. There's actually another building there. I'm not even sure if he realizes that one is there. But he's now firing at these ground units here. He's got a lot of infantry units. And Dimitri CNC should just be able to cluster it up and hold the line for a while. That building there getting pretty badly damaged. It's now no longer garrisonable. Sniper teams appear to be coming in now as well, which is going to be more of a problem. Sniper teams not too good against Black Hand, but uh, you know that they're, they're at least uh, something. And these Juggernauts now getting in range. The Marv is here. Dimitri CNC is probably going to fall. He's probably going to fall now. And he's forcing all of his units to fall back now. He's going forward for one last push, but Maze has Juggernauts behind these ruined structures. He's got units over here. The sniper teams are starting to fire on these Black Hand units. The Marv is here. All the harvest is getting cleaned up. He Marv so much money. So uh, he's, uh, what do you call it? Maze has probably got quite a lot. He's got an elite Marv as well. He has an elite Marv. Sniper teams going to town on these guys, doing a lot of damage. And Dimitri CNC is falling. I'm not sure where Nice Rue has his units now. He's got some units over here. He's got a drone platform. So he has actually tried to expand. Oh, he actually tip catalysts him. Oh my god, that's just uh, that's just embarrassing. He's like, hey, that's the only thing left I can do. I'm just going to do it. And I don't know why he packed that up. Uh, he's trying to make a run for it to uh, to survive. But uh, Dimitri CNC has been defeated. So he will be leaving this game with one point. So Nice Rue and, and Illusion, who I predicted to be the, the main... Uh, the main guys in this in this series are actually coming through to to get the most points so far unlike group number b or pool b sorry pool two where uh the two players i predicted both finished last so there you go nice ruse now in the eyes of illusion but illusion has so much he has such sprawling base down here now i don't even think it matters he's got too many units he's probably just going to straight out win this engagement there's five storm riders flying around but there's really not much for them to kill at the moment and his base is going to be under attack momentarily. This base will fall. He's still got that veteran Devastator warship. I'm surprised he didn't move it to the to the area over here and try to shell some bases from there. Because Maze has no air, and that's really all he has to try to destroy this. Storm Riders are coming in. There's APCs here, though, and if they realize that they could just target them, yeah. APCs are actually really good against them. Uh, the gun damage against them is actually pretty real. And uh, he's going to be shooting down some of them. He might be able to overwhelm them, but he's not really focused firing anymore. He's kind of moving around. There's Pitbulls now joining the party. There's random rocket squads on the ground. And there's even a slingshot coming in. Doesn't even have tungsten, though. It's got no tungsten, but it doesn't matter. It's still powerful enough to destroy these units here. And Nice Roo will be losing this base here momentarily. Maybe he can get an elite Devastator warship before he goes down. But uh, what's that over there? I think it's a Juggernaut. Ends up way out there. I'm not sure how he ended up so far out of there. But uh, he's going to fire on these units here now. Doing a bit of damage, and he is going to lose his uh, Devastator Warship momentarily, I believe. He does get one more kill before he starts to go down. Maze trying to move his units uh, so they don't get splashed down. And he does drop it now. It does go down. Nice through, pretty much just laying it. Uh, to be honest, uh, Nice through has outlasted the other two players, so there's not much point for Nice through to remain in this game at this point in time. But uh, yeah, there we go. He realizes that he's just like, hang on a second. It doesn't matter. I can't beat Maze at the moment, and I'm all still going to get my two points. So... Uh, there you go. Maze gets three points, which puts him on five. Nice Rue gets two points, which puts him on five as well. And Mazazumi and uh, Dimitri are both on one point. So it doesn't actually matter what happens in the next game. Uh, it's going to be Nice Rue and Maze. It's just uh, a matter of who's going to come first and who's going to come second, who's going to come third, who's going to come fourth, uh, and which group. Uh, they have to play it because it depends. Whoever wins will go into a different group in the semi final. So. 15 minutes here. That was actually a really good game. I really enjoyed that, but Maze ran away with it. You guys can think of that what you will. We're going to jump into the next one. I'm not wasting any more uh, time on uh, those details there because it's a free-for-all and there's really no tactical advantage to see much in the way of these, uh, these details. So stay tuned. Game number three from Pool 3 is coming up right now. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Green Zero back here for game number three of Pool 3. And again, it doesn't matter too much what happens here. Both Maze and Nice Rue will be qualifying, but it's just going to be depending who's going to be first and second. As for Dimitri and Mazazumi, well, really, there's not much to play for other than third place uh, in this pool here at the moment, but they're both going to get knocked out. But it looks like everyone has selected Scrim, except Mazazumi, who continues to play as random. 
and we are on Oasis Onslaught. So another new map again, or not a new map, but like a new map that we have, haven't seen in the tournament just yet. Of course, this is a very old map. It was shipped with Kane's Wrath, and it was very popular as well in the early days, but it dropped off over time. But uh, again, there's a lot of uh, blue zone stuff happening there. But we'll, ha we'll jump over here, and we'll get the colors going. So it's going to be Dimitri playing as Scrin in the top right here. If we jump down here, playing as the blue, I believe that's going to be Maze. So the Amazing Maze is playing on the left bottom right as the green screen over here it's nice through which means Mazazumi who's also got a screen faction he's Reaper 17 so it's all screen except for Reaper 17 and uh, I think Reaper 17 is gonna be enjoying this uh, this fight actually this is actually not gonna be too good too too bad for him because he gets Reaper tripods now there are four spikes in the middle of the map and there's an M station as well garrisons don't really matter at all because I mean, to be honest, they're not going to do anything. This uh, assimilator is playing it dangerous there. He actually gets himself over there. And Maze as well. Oh my god, these guys here, what are they doing? They're leaving their engineers really exposed. And uh, funnily enough, they will actually both be getting their spikes. That's nice. So no one's going to pay the ultimate price there. It looks like uh, it looks like Maze is actually going to go for both of these spikes here. So he's actually going to try to go for uh, nice uh, Ruse nice spike as well. So he's going to try to take that one out. He almost got the assimilator. And now he's going to herd these guys around. So Maze is going to get two spike. Yeah, he doesn't get the $500 bonus, but it's still pretty good for him. And funnily enough, look at that. Nitru actually defeats those Buzzer Swarms. That's nice. He can't obviously hold the spike down, though. That is gone. Shard Walker comes out from Mazazumi. Is he good enough to make Reaper work on this level? Again, I think Reaper is a good matchup considering that all the other guys are screened because, he, uh, once again, his tripods are just so much better. They have conversion reserves, they have charge beam, and they have cheaper shields. It's really just all working in his favor. And it will probably come down to that. He suffers in the air in the infantry department, but it doesn't really matter. He's got shard walkers, which pretty much make up for all of that. And of course, they get shields and blue shards as well. He doesn't even need blue shards, really. You could just go for shields. I mean, blue shards only if he gets like super crazy man spam or super crazy air spam or something like that. Nice room, meanwhile, just chilling down here. Going to be cleaning up the scouts from Mazazumi. Uh, Maze over here, on the other hand, has already made a move and he's going for the aggressive expansion. Dimitri, what are you doing? You're not doing anything, you're going for a nerve center and you're expanding. It's very common for, for Screen to drop a nerve center before expanding sometimes just because they like to start building their dev tanks early on. It's always good to have dev tanks because it doesn't really what, matter what matchup you're in. Dev tanks are really always, they're always a good unit. You know, they're always very reliable, very powerful. Battle mark is raging and everyone is going like, stop saying battle markers. No, that's what, I, that's what they're called, okay? That's, that's how I draw my attention. Other people were saying in a lot of other... Uh, the comments of the, the stream last night that they tend to like to watch my videos because I uh, I pretty much, you know, obviously I play the game a lot and uh, I don't miss out, I try to avoid missing out a lot of the action. And again, that's that's why I like watching these replays. I like to analyze them, see what's going on, and I don't like to miss in the action. I want to make sure you guys can see everything that's going on. So if there's a fight and if there's two fights at the same time, you know, I'll jump between them if I can or if one's just simply way better than the other, I'll concentrate on, on one over the other. But yeah. Uh, this is going to be so interesting. And there we go. Dev tanks, of course, are coming out. He's got three of them, charging them up straight away, which is what you want to do. And uh, Dimitri went for the expansion over here. So again, Masazumi moved away from that area, I believe. Yes, he's gone over here. He's got some disintegrator squads. And uh, it looks like Null Nysru and Masazumi went for the same area. They both went for the same area. And look at this. Nysru went for a war factory first, which means he's going to have Devourer tanks. And that is not going to be good news for Masazumi. Uh, yeah, sure, he's got disintegrators, but they're easily countered by Buzzer Hives and Gunwalkers and things like that. He's bringing his forces across here now. He has no Tier 2, I believe. No, no Tier 2 to speak of. He went for Economy, which means he's on Tier 1. I'm not sure if Seeker Tank's going to cut it. He puts down another portal, so really going to go heavy on the Disintegrators here. Reaper 17 Disintegrators, not very good at all. The Shard Walkers are going to come forward. They're going to find that there's a Devourer Tank there as well. Meanwhile, Dimitri CNC is in this field. He kills a Harvester straight away. He's going to get a second Harvester. That Dev Tank not charged up for some reason. And he will get two Harvester kills now. So that's nice. Meanwhile, Mazazumi just trying to concentrate on this area. He's losing units. Wow, he's getting double teamed. And he cannot counter this. Unfortunately, he's just in that range where he can't really fight two fronts. And he's in a lot of trouble. And Dimitri CNC is going to charge up here. He could even just call in the Buzzer Swarm and the Repair Pads and just do so much damage right now. But he is going to fall back. He doesn't want to stay too close to those Disintegrator Squads. There's quite a few. There's a Corruptor here. There is a Corruptor here. Meanwhile, Nice Fruit is just like, see you later, Gunwalkers. Wins that battle hands down. And there are Corruptors here now. Dimitri loses one of the Devourer Tanks, but the rest are still going strong. And these Corruptors are just like, yep, come at me, bro. I'll kill all your infantry. And Mazazumi is going to get knocked out of this game. He is just like, yep, see you later. He is selling up. Nice room moving in with these units over here. 
and Mazazumi will finish last in this group here, unfortunately. He did snare himself one point because he finished third in the first game there, so he will be taking at least one point. That was a really good push from Dimitri CNC because he did have a fair few units to kill, and he only lost a Devourer tank very well controlled, I think. He might want to just heal up some of these units as well. Meanwhile, Maze has been awfully quiet here. He's just been expanding, doing his thing. He's got, oh, he's got Storm Riders, and he's got a lot of them, and Nice Rue has no double A, and he's going to come in. He's got them on aggressive stance. He's actually going to go for buildings. That's interesting. So he's going to go for the power, and that's an upgraded power plant. Two upgraded power plants will fall. He has a nerve center, but he can't drop any double A defenses. Oh my god, this is so powerful right now. And is he going to go? Is he going to go for the drone platform? That would be pretty crazy. He's not focusing. He's not focusing. Now he focuses. He's like, yep, get rid of that. He does put down a uh, plasma missile battery, but it doesn't matter because he has no power. There are seeker tanks here. He's actually going to try to snipe the drone platform from uh, Nystru. This is going to be crazy if he gets it. I think he's going to get it. I think there's almost no way he can save this right now. He just has no power, and he's going to lose his drone platform with not enough power plants to keep himself going. He gets it, and he gets out there. Oh my god. Maze. Maze is doing critical damage. Nysru has two war factories and he does not have enough power to power all this. He's going to have to sell or power micro some of his structures. But what he's got is what he's got. He's only got tier 2. No, he's only got tier 1. Wow, he's stuck on tier 1, which means he's got about half dozen uh, Devourer tanks here. And that's it. That's as far as it goes. He's got half dozen Devourer tanks and he's got no more. And Maze pulls his units back for repairs. He's going to replace the damaged or destroyed ones as well, which I think is good because they have done so much damage. And he's going to expand now to the bottom, which is very safe. Dimitri CNC, meanwhile, has gone. Wow, that's way too many extractors. He's gone extractor crazy over there. And he's going to go for his own units. Not sure if he's going for another drone platform. He doesn't really have much, does he? He does not really have much at all. Where is his ground army? It's over here. So this is his army. This is what he's built. Everything else has gone into eco. And he's probably pouring into tech and upgrades and things like that. He's going for his own storm riders. But meanwhile, here come the storm riders. And yeah, Maze should not go there. He should not worry about that. There's too many gun walkers. Nice Rue has a nice sized army. But uh, at the end of the day, there's only going to be six devourer tanks there. And everything else is going to be seekers and shard walkers. Oh, sorry, gun walkers. And there's no upgrades. There's no chance for any upgrades now. He's got no tier two. Luckily, he's got a lot of eco, though. Does he have... Yeah, he power micros that down, so I'm assuming yeah, he's power microing now so he can get his production on track. Let's just have a quick gaze. Maze is fine. Nice has $14,000. Okay, there you go. He's got he's got two war factories, and it's Seekers. One for Seekers, one for Gunwalkers. Dimitri has about six grand, but he's not doing too much at the moment. Planetary Assault carries out by Maze, and I think he'd probably be looking to get the shield upgrade. And uh, you're wondering why people don't do this in 1v1, but they do it in, in games like this. It's because if you can get a critical mass of planetary assault carriers, then you win the game. It's, it's as simple as that. And he doesn't really have enough here just yet. There's a tripod. But uh, Nice Rue is actually coming in, and if he gets the drone platform, he's going to stasis. He is going to stasis this army, though. I can tell you right now. There we go. He stasis it, breaks it in half, and he could call in the Ion Storm, which he does now. And these planetary assault carriers are just going to clean house. Yeah, he does actually get the drone platform. Not going to matter too much because he can rebuild that, of course. But at the end of the day, Nice Rue just expended everything to get that, which in turn is just going to help Dimitri CNC. Shield upgrade is done. That is done. And he's got like four, five, six of them here at the moment. We'll need more. Sorry, there's actually seven there. The stasis finishes and he just kills everything that is remaining there. He's got way too many planetary assault carries. And he's not going to give Nice Rue more time to build more of those. He's going to attack, and again, remember, he's floating probably still like 10k. What's happening over there? Buzzer Swarm comes in. Still has a few Storm Riders as well, so obviously a lot of those have already been killed now. And again, the Planetary Assault Carriers are just like, yep, cool. What are you going to do about it? There's way too many Planetary Assault Carriers here. They could probably just call in the Iron Storm, which they do, which makes them ungodly powerful. They do call in that ability. And again, it just makes them so much more powerful. They actually regenerate health, and it buffs everything. It pretty much buffs everything. Meanwhile, Dimitri CNC is pulling apart the base over here. He's like, nice through. See you later. This is why they call it free-for-all, because anything can happen. Maze is moving in from the right-hand side with these planetary assault carriers, and he's cleaning up everything that's down. He's even got a tripod. Dimitri CNC is cleaning up everything over here. Maze has no chance. Uh, sorry, nice through has no chance now to get anything but third position in this game, which means Maze will more than likely win this, uh, win this, uh, this group here at the moment. And Maze, yes... Nice Rue has been defeated, so Nice Rue will be taking one point, which puts him on six points. Maze is on five points, but Maze is guaranteed at least two points, which means he's going to finish first. Doesn't matter what happens. Dimitri CNC has got a lot of Storm Riders. Wow, have you ever seen the Dem Storm Riders? Dem Storm Riders. He must have at least 20 or 24 Storm Riders there. 
He has just massed these and he's killing. He's killing the planetary assault carriers. He could even start just killing the buildings now. He's going to go for the upgraded power plants and uh, he hasn't dropped the power just yet. But is he going to go? He's going to try to target as many upgraded power plants as possible. He's actually moving across here now. He's actually, is he going to go for the drone ship? Uh, he's just flying through. He should be on aggressive stance, really. He could do a lot of damage. Not sure what he's doing, but uh, yeah, he's flying through that now. He's got a ground army. I think the ground army should just go through the middle. And oh, look at this. He's actually able to pick off these uh, planetary assault carriers here. There's not enough of them. All the ships just get vaporized. So there you go. Stormrise actually countering them pretty heavily. He gets one. And again, they don't have enough ships. There's actually quite a few ships here, but uh, again, he's just targeting these guys down. A lot of Stormrise are starting to fall, but he still has quite a few of them there. And what an air battle here. This is what you see in screen mirrors. It can end up being a massive air battle. And the Storm Rider numbers are being depleted pretty heavily now. Yeah, there's plasma missile batteries. And there are more planetary assault carriers there. So Dimitri CNC will be expending the entirety of his force there. Unfortunately, does not have anything else. He should be expanding again. Is he expanding? No, he's not actually making a move for another expansion. He's going to need to. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 4. So he had 24 Storm Riders in that attack. Hasn't sold off any of these guys now. He's going to go for a Hexapod. And there you go. He's just like, hang on, don't need them anymore. Sell them off. Meanwhile, this army is moving around here. They don't have charge. Wow, he could charge up on that uh, that Tiberium. And the drone platform is there. I'm not sure if Dimitri is obviously not watching this. He could kill the drone platform easy as. And uh, he's probably going to realize it now. Yeah, even the Corruptors could help out here. And they'll do actually a lot of damage. They're not as good as flame tanks, but they still do grenade damage. And oh, he phases. He phases. Nice save there. Dimitri had a moment to probably destroy that, but it wasn't going to happen. And now this planetary assault carrier is here. And they will be doing a lot of damage trying to chase away this force. So Dimitri all of a sudden needs more Tiberium. He is harvesting down here. He's trying to rebuild Storm Riders actually. But this, this whole base is completely out, out of mind. He needs to get over here. He needs to get this Tiberium. Or he needs to get that Tiberium. Because Maze is trying to make a move now. He's been slowed down so much trying to take this base though. He's been slowed down oh so much. He does have Shard Launchers. Which means Storm Riders probably aren't going to be as effective in this game. And he can't actually land the drone platform until the phase is worn off. So that is going to stick there until that happens, which it has done now. Uh, two planetary assault carriers remain. He's actually got a veteran one there. There you go. Veteran planetary assault carrier. He has given it up building those because he just doesn't have the income to build anymore. So uh, Dimitri CNC doing enough damage to reset things here. He's got a hex pot out, but not much else. A few Storm Riders are rolling around. Uh, there's actually, yeah, there's only a handful, so they're not going to do too much damage. He will actually be trying to take out these planetary assault carriers. Is he going to get one? He should be able to get one of them, I think. And maybe the other one as well. There's a veteran one there. And these Devourer tanks. Oh, they're actually coming back in. Oh my god, Maze actually may lose his uh, his drone platform anyway. He will lose it. The last planetary assault carrier falls. The Storm Riders are like, see you later. We're out of here. Drone platform is down. He's trying to go for shock troopers. He's got disc launchers, but he doesn't have the blink pads yet. So he can't actually blink them around. But the, the Corruptors pretty much will hard counter them. There's two tripods here. And uh, they're just going to want to pull back from those tripods. And look at this. Uh, he's got a veteran tripod. The Storm Riders just fly straight back in. It's like, yep, cool. We'll just kill these tripods. There's actually dev tanks right here. They don't have enough that much charge, but they've got enough. And he will be killing this last tripod. There's actually another one coming as well. Maze just running out of options. He hasn't been able to expand down here as much as he tries. He can't expand down there. I'm not sure if he sold off a lot of his double A, thinking that was all the, the anti-air that he was going to get thrown with. And Maze does throw in the towel here, so obviously the one uploading the replays. So Dimitri CNC will win that game. He'll take three points, which puts him on four points, which gives him third position. Mazazumi takes one point, so he takes fourth position. Nice Roo, I believe, will be taking... Uh, far out, I've already got the points, but Nice Roo's second. And that means uh, Maze will be finishing first. So first to Maze, second to Nice Roo, third to Dimitri, and fourth to Mazazumi. Nice Roo and Maze will be qualifying. Uh, we'll skip over the results there because it's not terribly important. Uh, stay tuned to my channel. Stay tuned to the video. I'll have a quick cap after this one here. But stay tuned to my channel. More free-for-all tournament videos coming up. I'm Green Zero, and I'll see you all in the next video. Okay, guys. So let's recap pool number three now. So Maze, the amazing Maze, came through with seven points. So he will be taking first position in this group. Seven points. First place, Nice Roo is coming in second on six points. Uh, so both guys I thought might uh, qualify for this one ended up doing so, so good call. <laughs> but we have Excess Dimitri and Masasumi, unfortunately, not qualifying. Excess Dimitri managing to get three points on the board, and Masasumi managing a single point. So good so far that everyone's managing a point in these series. But uh, anyway, stay tuned to my channel. We have more pool matches coming up, and of course the semifinals and the grand finals. I'm Green Zero. Stay tuned to my videos. I'll see you in the next VOD.